And good evening and welcome to Patriot Gym for the Region 8 Women's Championship game between two-time defending national champion Gulf Coast Commodores and Eastern Florida, the Titans, making their first ever trip to the Region 8 Championship game. Give you the starting lineups. Number three, Brianna Lewis, who set the tournament assist record for a single game with 16 on Thursday. Number 13, Mariah Batts, who made nine threes to tie the all-time single game record in the tournament. She has made 13 threes already and has had 34 in the win over Miami-Dade. Up next, Victoria Morales, number 21. Number 34, Claire Beatty. And number 40, Alexandrine Oboda Fueg. She had 17 rebounds last night in the win. She's averaging 20 points, 13 rebounds. She's made 14 of 23 from the floor. Number 40, Fwake. They are coached by MJ Baker, one of four coaches in state history to ever lead multiple programs to the Region 8 tournaments. And now for the Commodores, number 22, Shiraja Collins. Number 24, Shayla Bennett. Scored 39 points last night. Tied the fifth highest scoring total single game in Region 8 tournament history. Number th number 30, Dien Dien, known as Didi. At number 32 will be Jalea Dunlop. And number 44, Astu Gay. And the Commodores coached by Rooney Scoville, winner of 549 career games. She has led Gulf Coast to the championship game. This is the 18th time since 1997 gulf coast has won 11 titles region eight titles under coach scoville they're the two-time defending national champs as we've mentioned as you see the tail of the tape bennett averaging 28 and a half in the tournament she's made 18 of 40 shots overall eight of 16 from three scored 57 points so far in the tournament just two losses on the season for gulf coast chipola and Shelton State, since the loss of Chipola, Gulf Coast has won 10 in a row. All right, Didi, it's the gay inside to Dunlop, puts it up, no, tip out of bounds, and it'll be Eastern's ball. First time since 2008 that we do not have an all Panhandle Conference Region 8 Women's Championship game. That year, College of Central Florida played against Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast wound up winning that one by 23. Here's Lewis, who's had a tremendous tournament. She fires it up, no. And a rebound is grabbed by the Commodores. Here comes Collins to Dunlop. She's challenged by Flagg, and she knocks it in. Delia Dunlap, who had some foul trouble in the opening half last night against Florida Southwestern, but once she turned... When she returned, you could see the difference. She had a tremendous defensive game, really took away any type of offense Florida Southwestern was able to get inside. Here's Beatty, no good. Rebound Fueg, no, still loose. Beatty will get it back. Five on the shot clock. It hasn't hit the, shot, hit the rim. Here's Lewis. Lewis puts it up over Bennett, floater, and puts it in. Brianna Lewis ties the game. For Gulf, excuse me, for Eastern. Gay. Turn around at the foul line. Nope. Rebound Fueg, who had 17 rebounds last night. Lewis gets in. She had 17 on points last night. Here's Bats. Boom. Blair Bats now 14 of 24 from beyond the arc in the tournament. And Eastern leads 5-2. Bennett. Inside, Dunlop at the foul line. Against Flake, she spins. They tie her up. Ball is going to be over to Eastern. Number 10, Green. And 12, Die will come in. Gay and Collins leave for Gulf Coast. Last night, 
Lewis, 10 of 10 at the line, 14 points, 8 assists. She's got 24 assists, so she's averaging 15 and a half points and 12 assists in the tournament. She's at the single game tournament record against Miami Day. That was the first time since 14 that a team had scored over 100 in the Region 8 women's tournament. Here's Beatty against Keyshawn Johnson. Got her in the air, off the window, and good. It's a 7-0 run for Eastern, and they lead by five. Here's Bennett. She had 28 in the first half last night, 18 in the first quarter. Doesn't get that one. Rebound Flake. That's her third unofficially. Lewis, Beatty in transition. Morales for three. Good. It's a 10-0 run for Eastern, and they lead the two-time defending national champs by eight. Mentioned Bennett tied fifth highest single game point total in Region 8 tournament history. She's been over 35 times this season. 39 was her season high. She gets free. They get her down low. She gets it up. Blocked by Morales. Loose. Bats picks it up for Eastern. And the Titans will come back. Titans lost by 29 to Florida Southwestern on February 17th. Since then, haven't lost and have been... Making some major, major noise in the state. They're able to convert there. Dunlop and Gay are in. Dye and Johnson are out for Gulf Coast. 6.31 to go, opening quarter. Last night, Eastern allowed Tallahassee to shoot 26%. Held them to 57 points. Dunlop. Against Flay, good. Dunlop has all four. That stops a run of ten straight points by Eastern. And it's a six-point edge for the Titans. Lewis will fire it up, and it's short. Rebound Morales. Titans will reset. Lewis. Morales, Beatty. They're watching bats very, very close. Flag against Gay. She turns, reverse layup, and it's off. Two French-born players going against each other there. Green back for Gulf Coast. She had 20 in the opening round. Gay inside Dunlap. Dunlap puts it up and scores. Dunlap now with six points in the ball game. all six of Gulf Coast points. She's averaging 13 in the tournament. Dunlap will try to convert the three-point play. And she does. Anderson, 25, will check in for the Titans. But Lewis is definite, definite all-tournament player. She has been tremendous for Eastern. There's Bats, she gets free, and that time doesn't get it to roll. Tipped out of bounds, it will be Gulf Coast ball. Bats also made nine threes on January 20th against Hillsborough. And as a team, Eastern hit 16 in the opening round, broke the single game tournament record. Gay misses the three, tapped out of bounds. And it will stay with, well, it, won't, it will be definitely Eastern ball. In the tournament so far, they are 25 of 53 from beyond the arc coming in. 59 of 123 from the floor overall, 33 for 43 at the free throw line. Those are the two game totals for the Titans. Morales, who had a three earlier. She drives against a couple Commodores. They converge on her. Anderson will fire the three. Rattles off, rebound. Grabbed by Dunlap. They're two of five unofficially so far from beyond the arc. Didi fires a three, and it's good. And just like that, eight straight by Gulf Coast, and we are tied at ten. Didi hit a couple in the second half as Gulf Coast dominated Florida Southwestern over the final 20 minutes. Morales, she drives. 
bats. Good job by Green again on her. Here's Bats looking for someone. Help. Five on the shot clock. Four. They're pretty deep in the shot clock. Lewis. Wow, she's quick. Drives. Layup. No. Great effort, though. Unable to get it. Here's Bennett. Bennett. Leaves it for Gay. She finds Green. Step back three on the way. Rattles off. Gay with the offensive rebound and good. So Gulf Coast now regains the lead. They've scored ten straight. Teams match each other with 10-0 runs. Lewis. Morales. Morales will fire the three. That's off. Bats slaps it in the air. It's picked up by Anderson. Two of six now from three for Eastern unofficially. Lewis against Dunlop. She calls for something. She drives. Anderson catches. Cut off. Seven on the shot clock. Here's Beatty. Beatty loses the ball. Up and under. Blocked by Dee Dee. Rebound Dunlop for Gulf Coast. Bennett against Beatty. Bennett finds Gay. Gay will lay it in. 12 straight for the Commodores. Four for Gay, she's scored the last four overall, in fact, and it's 14-10 in favor of the Commodores. 12-0 run after a 10-0 run by Eastern. Here's Lewis. Wow, she's quick. Puts it up, layup, no. And Gay with the rebound. One and done on the for Eastern on their trip so far. Bennett all the way, lays it up, and the Commodores are in rhythm. They woke up 14 straight. That's the first basket for Bennett. Titans want to talk it over. 2-0-1 to go first quarter. Gulf Coast by six. You see the score from last night. It's Eastern Tallahassee game. Lewis brings it across. Last point scored at the 7-14 mark of the opening quarter. Two for seven now for Eastern from three. They able to get the long rebound, Lewis. You do the math coming up on five and a half minutes without a point. And foul beyond Collins. Just the second foul of the game. Teams with one each. Begway's got a pretty, been on the bench, been sitting on the bench for a pretty good amount of time. Four or five minutes at least. She only has the one foul. Number two, Worley is in. Worley six of 12 from three. Yeah, Fegway's been on the bench for quite a bit of time here. Anderson, nope. And they near the six-minute mark without a point. They're jumping out to a 10-2 lead. Inside, Dunlop against Morales. Draws the foul and she'll get two free throws. So Dunlop to the free throw line. She's got, she scored the first seven for Commodores, and she's still stuck at seven. Missed them both, rebound Morales, 1.10 to go. Opening quarter. Morales. 
Morales. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Worley is at 6 of 12, like we mentioned, in the tournament. Anderson for three, two for eight now in the opening quarter from three-point range for Eastern. They were 25 of 53 in the opening two rounds. Three-pointer by Didi is off and over the back that we're going to have. No, it's not going to have over the back. Loose ball foul on Anderson. And they say holding on Anderson. Titan bench does not like that at all. If our cameras pick that up. There's Bennett. Bennett. And Bennett. Boom. <laughs> Bennett with four now. That's 16 straight points for Gulf Coast. Second on Morales. Vady will come in. Oh, for one on that trip. So, still an eight-point lead after that basket, but a 16-0 run. Remember, the last field goal scored, last points of for Eastern at the 7-14 mark on a three by Morales. Since then, 16 in a row for Gulf Coast. Must be like less than a tenth of a second or so. Difference between the shot clock and game clock. Lewis down to five, four. Gets inside Beatty, and they take it away. They're not even gonna get a shot off. Bennett from long range. Off, and that'll do it. So the final seven and change, all Gulf Coast. They don't allow a point for the finals. It's actually 7-14 without a point. 16 straight points to close the quarter. We'll take a break. Gulf Coast up by eight. All right, they're just joining a 16-0 run to close first quarter over the final 7-14. Eastern was up 10-2, but it's been all Commodores since. Just joining us also, Northwest Florida State routed Chipola to win the men's championship. Largest margin of victory ever since in the championship game since the tournament began in 1961 on the men's side. Here's Collins. Collins cut off by Worley. Block taken away. And it's loose. Lewis unable to hold on to it. Commodore ball. Gay, Bennett, Collins, Dunlop, DD4, Gulf Coast, Bats, Beatty, Fuegi, Fuegi. Lewis and Worley. Fegway, excuse me. Gay. A lob inside. It's Intercepted by Fegway for the Titans. Here they come. They run it. Lewis. Lewis leaves it for Worley. Fegway against Gay. Loses the handle. Recovers. Throws up a wild shot. And a block on Gay. And Fegway will go to the line. Be her first two shots for Fegway. So... Gulf Coast fans do not like the call. Titans 77% from the line in the tournament at the free throw line. So that's the first point they've scored since the 7-14 mark of 
in the opening quarter. So just under eight minutes, 7.58 without a point. Got them both. Stop a run of 16 in a row by Gulf Coast. Bennett will bring it into front court. She scored four so far. At 39 last night, 57 so far in the tournament. Gay to Green. Green against Lewis. Entry pass to Didi. She catches, puts it up. Nope. Rebound Dunlap. Up and in. Dunlap has scored nine. Gulf Coast by eight. 8.47 to go. Opening half. Lewis. Beatty. Remember, first quarter, two for seven unofficially from three-point range for the Titans. Bats fires on the way. Good. Bats his second three of the game, her 15th of the tournament. And just like that, Titans pulled it within five. Try to see what the all-time record for most made threes in the tournament is. Bennett misses. Rebound, tie-up. And it will be Titan ball. Most three-point goals made, 17. Conda Williams, Gulf Coast, and Demetra, Al Demetra Adams of Florida Community College at Jacksonville. Those happened in 98 and 88, respectively. Here's Fegway. Yes. And the Titans. To within three. The bat sitting on 15, two away from tying the record for most threes over the course of the tournament. Here's Green, Dunlop, Dunlop puts it up. Nope, block, she throws it off, bats, out of bounds. Stays with the Commodores, 11 on the shot clock, 7.28 to go before halftime. Bennett down to four, three, and that one's short, tip right to Gay, who puts it in. Gay with six, and it's back to five. In favor of the Commodores, Lewis, Beatty against Dunlop. Here she goes, Beatty. Spinning, looked like she took about four steps, but no call. And draws the foul on Dunlop. So they gave it to they gave it to Gay, two on Gay. Free throw is short. One for two on that trip for Beatty. Die in, Gay out with the two fouls. 6.53 to the half. Dunlop, top of the key. Green fires the three. It's off. Rebound out of bounds to the Titans. Titans 28 of 61 from three in the tournament, three of eight in this game. Beatty against Die. Begway challenged by Dunlap and it rattles off. Rebound is going to be won by Beatty. Good hustle. Took it away from Die. Titans fighting in this one. Can they stun the two-time defending national champs? Lewis puts it up, short, rebound by Dye as we go under six minutes to go, first half. Green fires a three, on the way, nope. Rebound tip, loose, picked up by Beatty. Beatty back the other way, in a hurry for the Titans. Almost over and back. 
Green. I mean, Lewis. Lewis off the window. No good. Rebound by Dee Dee for the Titans. Bennett will push. Here she goes. You better cut her off. She'll go in and put it right up and in. Draws a foul that time. Two shots for Bennett. 5.31 to go before halftime. First on bats. And the first of the quarter on the Titans. Three throw, good. For Bennett, she's got five. That's going to check out. Two frees away from tying the all-time tournament record for most makes in the event. Six-point lead for Gulf Coast. 5.29 to go before halftime. Bennett with six points. Fegway against Dunlop. Fegway rattles it in. Fegway's got six in this quarter. And that's her total for the game. It's 24-20 as we count down towards the five-minute mark in the first half. Dunlop, top of the key. She'll drive. Fegway challenges. Off the window, no. Rebound. Beatty will get it. And a tie-up. That should be Commodore Ball. And it is. Four forty-eight to go. So Dunlop will inbound. Commodore's won ten in a row since that loss on January twentieth to Chipola. Bennett died short. And rebound by the Titans. Here comes Lewis. Lewis in a hurry. Look at her run the floor. Finds Beatty. Beatty cut up by Dunlop. Outside. And a foul. Drawn by the Titans. Theodora Odia. Draws a foul on Green. Third on the Commodores. Odia will go to the line. Shot is off. 16-0 run to close the first quarter by Gulf Coast. They were led by eight after one. And they're at four and out. 0 for two on that trip. Rebound by Dunlop. And into the front court comes... The Commodores, Bennett, Bennett with the ball. Fires the three, good. Shayla Bennett has nine. 4.07 to go. Opening quarter. Eastern throws it away at the 4.02 mark. So Bennett will walk it across under four minutes. She's at 67 points for the tournament. Dee Dee drives baseline, cut off, bounces inside the die, puts it up, no, rebound, grab by the Titans. And Beatty will run across, calls the play. There's Worley. Not letting Worley get free on anything. Fegway, ball tapped away by Dunlap. Fegway recovers, puts it up. No, rebound Green. Fegway took a tumble. Here comes Green, picked up by Lewis. Dunlap, cut off. Didi for three, off. And Beatty hands to Lewis. Lewis brings it over. Back to Beatty. Beatty leaves it for Worley. She loads up the three. It's off. Three of nine is a team now in the game. Fegway, rebound, contact, Lewis puts it up, nope, back iron too high, here comes Bennett, Bennett outlet pass to Green, Green hammered by Fegway and a three-point play opportunity for Green. Second foul on Fegway, Commodores now lead by nine. Five straight points for Gulf Coast, chance to 
go up by double digits for the first time in tonight's contest. So Bat's going to check back in for Eastern. Green. Converts the three-point play. Her first three points of the game. Collins in. And Didi will check out. And bats. Beatty. Lewis. Oops, she didn't give it to her. She lost the handle. Recovers. She reversed layup. Dunlop got a piece of it. Tips it to Bennett. Here come the Commodores, three against two. Bennett finds Collins and draws the foul. Fouls on bats. That's going to be two on her. 24 to the half. Worley going to also check back in for Gulf Coast. Collins free throws good. Five of nine unofficially as a team for Gulf Coast here in the opening quarter. Opening half, excuse me. Collins with her first points. It's 32-20, 220 to the half. Hit on the shot clock. Odia threw it inside, stolen by Green. She flips it to Bennett. And Dunlop, Beatty tries to take it away. Under two to go. First half, 12-point lead for Gulf Coast. Kind of similar to the men's game. Team got out to a quick start, and the other regrouped and took a double-digit lead. Dunlop with 11. Eastern hasn't scored since the 5.05 mark. And Gulf Coast has scored 10 in a row. And they lead by 14. Pegway against Dunlop. Puts it up. Yes. Pegway with all eight of her points here in the second quarter. Down to 12. Three-pointer by Green. Missed it. Rebound by Beatty. And a foul going to be called on Bennett. 105 to the half. So if you're just joining us, it was 10-2 Eastern. But since then, 16-0 run to close the quarter for first quarter for Gulf Coast. They led by eight after a quarter of play. Down to four, the 5.05 mark. 10-0 run for the Commodores. And recent basket by Fegway, who has eight points in the second quarter. But it's still a 12-point edge for the Commodores. And turning the ball over, Eastern again. Eastern, three of nine from three-point range. They've been averaging, they've shot 53, so right around 26, 27 shots from beyond the arc of game. Not on pace for that. They've been averaging 12 and a half makes a game. And it's a three, so they're well off those paces that they set over the first two rounds. Collins missed it. On the floor, Lewis lost it out of bounds. Gulf Coast ball. Shot clock off, 21 seconds to go before halftime. Oh, they forget about Dunlop, and she finishes. Dunlop with 13, 36-22. And that looked very easy. Lewis, Beatty, blocked by Dunlop. 
And they say she fouled her with .5 seconds to go. And they gave it to Bennett. So two on Bennett. Thought it was Dunlop. They gave it to Bennett. Beatty knocks it down. Dunlop with 13, the leading score in the game for Gulf Coast. Bennett scored nine, Gay with six. Leaders for the Commodores. Beatty two of two on that trip, she's got five. The Gulf Coast is gonna go to locker room up 12. Dominant final 17 minutes. And they take a 12 point lead, 36-24 at halftime. We'll be back.
36-24. Halftime edge for the Commodores all over the Titans after falling down 10-2 early. Bats finds Beatty. Cut off. Begway at eight in the second quarter. Unable to hit there. A rebound by Collins for Gulf Coast. She will push it against Beatty. Leaves for Dunlop, Gay, Dee Dee, and Dunlop on the floor. For Gulf Coast, Begway, Lewis, Bats, Beatty, and Morales for Eastern. Gay in the corner. Cut off. Collins, Dunlop. We had 13 in the opening half. Make that 15 now. She is 7 for 9 from the floor. Gulf Coast 14 of 34 shooting in the opening half. 2 of 12 from beyond the arc. 8 of 30 for Eastern. 3 of 9 from beyond the arc. 23-22 rebounding edge for Gulf Coast. One turnover is all the Commodores had in the first half. Eastern turned it over five times. Leading score is Fegway. And Lewis puts it in. Lewis only handed out one assist. She was one of eight in the opening half. She's averaging 12 in the first two games assist-wise. Two for two that trip. And a 12-point lead for Gulf Coast. Dunlap drives. Megway challenges. Dunlop knocks it down. 17 for Jalea Dunlap. She has five rebounds as well. Morales, 4-3, is short. Rebound run down by Collins. Collins. To Bennett. Bennett. Floater up. No. Fegway with the rebound. Here comes Lewis. Lewis in a hurry. Puts it up. Blocked by Gay. And out of bounds. Anderson will come in for Eastern. Fegway out. That's kind of surprising. So Beatty will inbound for the Titans, who trail by 14. 8-18 to go. Three-pointer by Bats. It's off. And rebound. Grab. Oh, nope. Out of bounds. It stays with the Titans. Bats two threes away from, like we said, tying the all-time record in the tournament for most makes. Here's Lewis. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Here's Bennett. Bennett all the way in the corner. Didi, 4-3, loads it up. Good. Didi with her second three of the game. It's a 17-point lead for Gulf Coast all over Eastern. Morales, nope. And Collins back the other way. Here comes Gulf Coast. Gay fires a three, top of the key, back iron, no rebound, Lewis for Eastern. Finds Batty, Batty lays it in. Seven for Batty. She has four rebounds in tonight's game. Bennett over to Gay. And foul going to be whistled against. Oh, Bennett will inbound. She's joined by Collins, Dunlop, Gay, and Green. During the seven-minute mark, mark, third quarter. And loose, knocked to the floor. Bennett, Beatty recovers for Eastern. And they will reset. Anderson fires the three. Nope, three for ten as a team now for Eastern. They've only attempted three threes in the last quarter and a half. 
Collins fouled by Anderson. With 6.35 to go in the third quarter. That's pretty damn good. And Collins misses the first. Gulf Coast trying to win their 12th championship, Region 8-wise, under Rooney Scoville since 1998. This is their 18th appearance in the tournament during that span. So pretty much can pencil them in just about every year, obviously. Here's Lewis. Beatty in the paint. Yes. Claire Beatty with nine. And it's a 13-point lead for Gulf Coast as we go under six minutes left, third quarter. Bennett. She'll fire the three. Yes. Bennett with 12. Women's tournament leading score, 69 points. And Lewis draws the foul. No quit in the Titans, though. Got six. And Lewis converts the three-point play. It's 46-33, Gulf Coast on top. They're definitely headed to Lubbock. Regardless of the outcome, obviously, it's a tremendous season they've already had. Uh, trying to win their third consecutive Region 8 championship. And a block on Beatty. Already seen the men's championship decided. Northwest Florida State with the route of Chipola. Green's free throw is good. Green hit them both, 15 point lead, Commodores. Continuing the roll, here's Lewis, Lewis contact, and a block on Collins. on Gay. Three on Gay. Die will come in for Gulf Coast. So they're racking up the fouls after being a pretty foul free game for the most part. Not much. The 13 combined in the first half but the first half took 35 minutes to play. Real time so very quick half. We've seen some go well over an hour. Didi gets in the passing lane, loose. Green recovers, picked up by Beatty. Dunlap fouls Beatty. And Beatty will go to the line.
Worley will check in. So Beatty to the line. She scored nine. Make that ten. She is the first Titan player tonight in double figures. One of two. Dunlop with the rebound. Die gets in free. Missed it. Rebound by Green. And loose ball foul. Called against Lewis. Four thirty two to go. Third quarter. Bend it back in. Bennett gets the screen. Here's Green. Drives baseline. Bats, bats. Unable to finish. Tip. Out of bounds. Commodore ball. 4-17 left third quarter. Bennett will inbounds. Green against Bats. Hands to Bennett. Bennett, Dunlop, top of the key, back to Bennett. Bennett gets Fegway in the air. She pull up jumper, good. 14 points for Shayla Bennett. Well on her way to tournament MVP honors. Fegway draws the foul from Dunlop. Rion Dunlap. And Fegway rolls it in. She's got nine. Eight all, her first eight were in the third quarter. Bats leaves. She's two of three from three. She's got six. One for two on that trip. Rebound die. So Bennett, Dunlop, Green. Dean. And a five, four. Blocked by Morales. It's loose, out of bounds, and it stays with the Commodores. One second on the shot clock, 317 on the game clock. And they'll alley oop, lob, pass, should say lob, taken away by the Titans. Here's Lewis. Lewis. Here's Fegway. Fegway. Nope. Rebound grabbed by. Dunlop. Open is Didi, 4-3, yes. Didi with nine, all on three-pointers, 18-point lead. Third quarter, Gulf Coast rolling in this one.
game in JCA record winning streak from 2004 for Gulf Coast. The premier program nationally doing it again against Eastern first a first time championship game participant. Trying to win their third consecutive Region 8 championship. They are the two time defending national championship. This is champions. This is the 18th time since 98 they've been in the Region 8 championship game. Trying to win their 12th title under coach Rooney Scoville. Begway misses rebound for the Commodores. They will come back at the 221 mark, third quarter. Bennett, who has scored 14. Dunlap with 17. They're the top scorers. Didi has nine. All on threes. Dunlap puts it up. Nope. Tip around. Out of bounds. Stays with the Commodores. Two minutes exactly remaining. Third quarter. Eastern's only three of ten from three. They were averaging 12 for 27 over the first two games of the tournament, including a single-game tournament record 16 makes in round one. Lewis, Worley for three, good. So the fourth three in 11 attempts for Eastern. They had 17 against the College of Central Florida late in the regular season. That's their high in a game so far. And Green answers with a three. Green with six, 56-38. Beatty, Begway, blocked by Dunlap, she gets it back, Lewis, in the corner, off by Morales, and puts it up and in. Morales now, with five, 56-40, under a minute to go, third quarter. Here's Bennett, drives, draws the foul. It's going to be on Beatty. So Bennett try to add to her tournament leading point total. She now has 72. Eshawn Johnson in for Dunlop. You see, postseason record, 46 points by Natasha Moore in 2003. In the national tournament. The 39 yesterday, though, the most in the Region 8 tournament by a Gulf Coast player. The postseason record, Moorhead, 46 back in 03. Pegway missed it. Rebound. By Dye. It's about a four second difference between the game clock and shot clock. On the floor, loose. And Beatty takes it away. Lewis brings it back for Eastern. She loses the handle, recovers. Morales slings it over in the corner for three. On the way off, Worley gets her own miss, spins. And five, and a four, Fegway puts it up in the paint and in. So Fegway closes the quarter with the basket for Eastern. It's 58-42, Gulf Coast through three. We'll be right back.
fee for Gulf Coast in the Region 8 tournament was in 15 in the semis versus Northwest Florida State. You went on to fall in the finals with Chipola that year, the Evelyn Aka Tour team. Keyshawn Johnson for three, wide open and nails it. So Johnson, their first points of the game. Morales rims out, a rebound by Dye. Nine and a half to play, regulation. Dye inside, yep. 21 point edge, Commodores. All going to be whistled against Collins. No Bennett and Dunlop in. Die and Collins out. Lewis. And she steps out of bounds, and it's over to the Commodores. With the exception of that first half, yesterday against Florida Southwestern, Gulf Coast hadn't been challenged at all in this tournament. First three minutes tonight, after that it's been basically all Commodores. They haven't had haven't been in any type of peril. As soon as Dunlap re-entered the game yesterday after the foul trouble, she came in in the second half, she took over, it was over as well. They just totally took away everything that Florida Southwestern wants to do. With one second on the shot clock, Dunlap puts it in. She's got 19. Eight and a half to go. In regulation. Game time. Bats for three. Boom. All right. Bats with nine. That's her 16th three of the tournament. The next one she makes will tie the tournament record two to break the all-time record for most makes in the tournament of eight. You see she averaged 24 and a half first two games, had just nine today. But she could be a add her name to the record book again. And Bennett with one on the shot clock. Back-to-back -back trips where they go down. Get it all the way down to one on the shot clock, and they're able to score 17. I mean 18 for Bennett. Lewis draws the foul. And Bennett with 18, Dunlap with 19. Dean with nine. First on Johnson. 7.33 to play. Eastern Florida, 10 of 15, 66.7%. They throw good by Lewis. Lewis got them both. Nine for Lewis. And tie up. And a foul going to be whistled against Worley. Bennett and Collins in the backcourt. DN, Johnson, and Dunlop for. The Commodores, and Bennett drives, and she'll get two. Not Eastern Florida's night, but got to give them a lot of respect. Reached the championship game in Region 8 for the first time in school history. Knocked off the nation's number seven ranked team, Tallahassee, last night. And the opening round became the first team 
since 2014 FSC Jada score over 100 points in a Region 8 tournament game. So lots of bright spots, lots of positive record-breaking single game, single game assist record in round one for Brianna Lewis. They tied. They had the single game three-point makes mark tied by Bats against Miami Dade, and they broke the all-time record for most threes in a Region 8 tournament game, 16 in the win over Miami Dade. So it's been a lot of positives. And three seconds against the Gulf Coast. A lot of positives, just like pretty much everybody nationally unable to keep up with the Commodores. They talk of an at-large bid, but remember they were Suncoast runner-ups and they were unranked. They lost by 29 on the 17th of February to Florida Southwestern as Dean comes in and lays it in. She's got 11. So it'll be interesting to see. Florida Southwestern, Eastern, Northwest, Tallahassee. Northwest Florida wasn't even here. Could still be an at-large bid. It's not criteria that you have to make the region tournament to make the national tournament. So a timeout. Commodore 625 away from celebrating yet another Region 8 title. We'll be back. Lewis guarded by Collins. As you can see, the Gulf Coast on the verge of their 12th championship for the record tying three. Bats buries it. She has 17 threes in the tournament. She has tied the all time tournament record for most makes. Honda Williams in 98 for Gulf Coast had 17. And Demetra Adams from FSCJ in 1988 had 17. So Bats has tied that record. She'll have 6.05 to break it. And Johnson. Didi to Bennett. Bennett. It's around, wrap around, assist. Yep. Layup, excuse me. Bennett with 21. Lewis scores on the other end. And loose ball and a tie-up and to the floor. And it'll be a turnover. So let's see if they work something for bats. Segway. Nope. And Dunlop with the rebound for Gulf Coast. Collins brings it into the front court, picked up by Lewis Johnson. Here's Bennett. She drives, finds Dunlop, puts it up. And she'll get two free throws. Four on bats. Dunlop to the line, free throw is up and off. She scored 19 
That's 45 points in the tournament. for Dunlop. It's going to be 20, my mistake. So turnover. Bennett, Johnson, Dunlop inside, gets Fegway in the air, rattles out, rebound Fegway for Eastern. 21-point lead still, though, for the Commodores. Lewis, Morales puts it up, off, tip, rebound, out of bounds. Stays with Eastern with 4.45 to go in the ball game. Remember, at the conclusion, we will be broadcasting the award ceremony. You will hear the All-State team, the All-Tournament team, the MVP, the introduction of each player on the winning Gulf Coast roster, Coach of the Year Award, State Player of the Year Award, that will all be on the post-game award ceremony, which will occur right at the conclusion of this one. And here's the net cutting down to the nets. Northwest Florida already cut down the nets in the men's game. And timeout. 7-3, 4.35 to go. Commodore is well on the way to championship number 12. Turnover by the Commodores, Lewis, as they turn, oh, yeah, we have a kickball. As you can see, about to be 15-2 and two since 2010 in the Region 8 tournament. Green back in, Collins out. There's Bats, 4-3. Nope, that would have broke the all-time record for most makes by an individual in a tournament. She's stuck on 17 with two other players. Johnson, Dunlap, ricochets off her hands and into Bats, who brings it across to Lewis. Lewis. Anderson loads up the three. They run out at her, clanks off, a rebound by Johnson for Gulf Coast. Green, Johnson, they split, get inside to Dunlop. Dunlop in deep, yep. 22 for Dunlop. 75-52. Beatty. Took off running, doesn't get called. Recovers the ball, chop block on one of the Commodores. Timeout, Eastern, 335 left. All right, 3.35 remaining in the Region 8 tournament. 
Lewis. By Anderson. There's Worley. And Bats is still tied for the all-time record. Let's see if they get her a couple opportunities down the stretch. Worley bears when it's a 20-point lead and a block on Lewis with 316 remaining. from the ball. Anderson knocks Dunlop to the deck. Good sportsmanship. Helping her up. With 3.02 left. Three on Anderson. Remember, following the conclusion, they will have the entire awards ceremony in its entirety for you. Stick around for that one. Dunlop missed them both. Rebound Anderson for the Titans. Lewis brings it across. Bats. Over to Anderson. She fires. It's blocked by Dunlop. Rebound by Johnson for Gulf Coast. Bennett walks it across, and the Commodores will work on the clock, leading by 20. Didi, Green, and Bennett whistled for the foul. And Bennett will go back to the line. Bennett well on her way to tournament MVP honors. Big way in, Morales out for Eastern. So the Commodores will win their 11th game in a row after that loss on January 20th to Chipola. The other loss was December 29th to Shelton State. Lewis bats. I thought she was going to pull the trigger on that one. Three-pointer on the way is off. Rebound grabbed by the Gulf Coast. Johnson. And we near the two-minute mark. In the championship game, Region 8. Segway blocks out of bounds. Saves of the Commodores. 158 left. 13 on the shot clock. Green skies high to get that one. 10 on the shot clock. Green hands to Didi. Didi. Bennett. One second, they're not going to get it off. Nope. Lost that out of bounds. Anyway, 144 to go in the game. So, congratulations to Gulf Coast. 12th championship in their 18th appearance in the finals under Coach Rooney Scoville. Their third consecutive championship. Johnson, the other way, lays it up and in. First time finalist appearance. Finals participant, Gulf Coast, excuse me, Eastern Florida State. Unable to keep up with national power, Gulf Coast, the gold standard for women's programs nationally. Begway scores. She's had a good tournament. She's got 13 tonight, 79-57. Bennett. Dunlop. Fires it up. Nope. Rebound green. They put she puts it up and in. 81-57. So neither of the championship games close at all. Both 20 point plus routes.
We appreciate you watching throughout the past four days on the FCSAA YouTube channel. Year number five in Ocala. 14 exciting games. Fifty two point eight seconds remaining. Dunlop with the rebound. Gulf Coast will bring it across. Running the clock down. Lead by twenty four. Johnson. Out to green, she fumbles, recovers two, one, short. Over to the Titans, 22 seconds remaining. Gulf Coast going to celebrate their 12th championship under Rooney Scovel for Region 8 in their 18th appearance, third in a row. The two-time national champs with a route in the finals. Over first-time finals participant Eastern Florida. Worley for three, off, tipped. Dunlop rebounds, shot clock off. That's going to do it. Gulf Coast, 81, Eastern Florida, 57. We appreciate you watching throughout the week. Congratulations to the Commodores. We will, they approved the 26 and 2. We'll have the entire award ceremony for you. We'll leave the, like, we'll leave the mic on for you, let you hear that. Congratulations to Gulf Coast. Once again, region champs.
also from the incumbent state on the All-State team, Destiny Arbinger. Santa Fe, Stephanie Jackson. From here in Chicago to Central Florida, Marcella DeSantos. From Miami Day, Shea Rayel Whitson. Representing Indian River State, Megan Broadhorn. From Broward, Margarita Pleskovich. Thank you. 